Hi, this is Shiva Rajaya from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is what is Kundalini? I've got something to reveal to you is that deep inside I don't really have a clue what Kundalini is. And I don't think any human being on this planet really knows what Kundalini is about. Because I have the thing that behind what we call just uh, energy moving, a coil, a serpent, uh, you know, stacked in the bottom of your spine and then rising through your spine and opening your chakras, all that is, is just a tiny little fraction of what Kundalini is about. And when I start thinking about it, I realize that I don't actually know much about it. I know how it feels in the body, I know techniques that wake it up, and I know concepts, symbols, I know colors that activate it, but you know, when it comes to, okay, it's life force, it's energy, so what is this life force? What is this energy? What does that mean? Where, how is it created? Or how is it generated? Is it purely um, you know, a physical process between two polarities that need to be joined, or is it something which is more like an intelligent force? You know, for some people in India, Kundalini is a goddess. It's a goddess energy. And so um, when we start looking at concepts like that, there is what we know, then there is what we know we don't know, and then there is what we don't know that we don't know. It's like, it's really vast. The universe is really, really vast. And when it comes to mental understanding of something so vast as Kundalini, it's like we can only grasp a few little elements. Our rational mind can only comprehend a tiny little fraction of what this is about. You know, it's like comprehending our bodies and comprehending how we function. We think that because we have an anatomical understanding of what we are, we are suddenly, yeah, okay, we know what a human being is. I think, no, we don't really know because we don't know where we originated from. We don't really know how all that happens. What is the evolutionary force? What is the evolutionary drive? So let's go back to Kundalini and let's check a few elements that maybe we know. The first thing that uh, I know is that Kundalini happens in my body at least, in your body, it happens in every body. And uh, we have ways of activating it and making it rise. And that's really cool because when Kundalini, Kundalini rises and it rises in a, in a manageable way, we, we really feel really good because there is opening of consciousness, suddenly something magical happens. Something else that I know by experience is that the earth has a kundalini field as well. And what I feel when my kundalini is rising is that I'm between the two polarities. Some polarity which is up there, which you could call spirit or Shambhala or uh, the realms or nirvana where we come from. And then there is something coming from the earth, something very basic and very ancient that starts rising through my body and then activates me. So I have the feeling that I stand here between two polarities and those two polarities are what creates the kundalini flow. Another thing that I have a strong feeling about is that there is something we could call a cosmic kundalini, a kundalini energy which is traveling across the universe and moving and permeating everything in this known universe. There's so much more to say about this, but I'm going to stop right now. Ask yourself the question, what is Kundalini, and see what comes up. I'll see you soon again.